guys, Drew Spokorvia, sorry if it's a little bit loud. I have a little person here that just got a haircut and she's just wanting to chill on the couch and I don't want to move her. It's so funny, like y'all probably do this if you have animals. So roommate and I, we position ourselves around the animals in the house, including the bed. Like we will lay it sideways to avoid having to move animals comfort because we love our girls, we love our girls. Also roommate's doing dishes, he's trying to do it quiet, he's so sweet. I don't really have a dedicated room for this, and if anybody gets mad, fuck you. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I um, wanted to do a quick intro for this video, so was it yesterday? Like, time is just compacted into itself. Yesterday, me and somebody named Draconis, and please go subscribe, sus <clears throat> why is my mouth doing this all the time? Please go subscribe to Draconis. Um, Want to give you guys a quick intro, and you guys have probably heard me talk about this, but so you guys know the Better Help Julian situation, right? We had an interview with him, and Draconis is the one that found him. She found him, and then she brought the information to me, and it was like, ah! And so I was like, we're gonna do a fucking interview. So she's a smaller channel, but she's got some great content, and she is the one that like put this all together. She's been a very loyal viewer. Um, sweet, sweet girl. Please go subscribe to Draconis. She is the one that found Julian and helped set up an interview. So we have interviewed Julian, we have him here, and uh, I will let you guys see if you guys have any, any questions or you want to uh, even talk to Julian or hire him for stuff. Julian is a paid actor and a spokesperson, so he's, he's information. What is going on with my mouth? His information will be in the description. So uh, please check him out. And yeah, as well as, uh, like I said, I, I'm somebody that I really like to give support to, even though I consider myself a smaller creator now, to smaller creators who, uh, you know, do a lot of light work or, I mean, anybody, if anybody presents me with something, you know, I want to make sure and give credit where it's due. So please go subscribe to Dractonus, as well as please check out all of Rob's links. And otherwise, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So enjoy the show and thank you Dractonus for giving us all this information and thank you Rob for coming on. It was a fun time, he's a sweet kid. I say kid, he's probably my age, but fuck it, everybody's a kid in my opinion. I don't know why. I just something I, I think it's like when I see somebody who looks nice and young, I think kid, but it's not like I'm putting them down. I've had this conversation with y'all before. I'm gonna shut up. Anyway, without further ado, here's Miss Tractonis. Go subscribe to her. And here is Rob Spence of Julian Says Better Help. Take it away, y'all. <laughs> I say take it away, y'all. I'm supposed to be the one that takes it away to the video. Okay, I'm taking you to the video. Okay, it says it's live. Let me uh let me check. I just have to I literally go to my website, their website. I go to the uh I got the channel to check and see if anything's happening. Is anybody there? Okay. Yeah, I don't just, know. I'm hitting refresh and I, oh, here it is. It's just appeared. Ten oh, is it? Watching. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I don't know what I was in a minute ago when I was broadcast. That was a new thing or something I've never experienced. It's like, what is this? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> um. <laughs> Here, uh, let me let me just get to where I'm trying to go. Hold on one second. I just want to make sure I'll, I'm going to pull the chat up. If anybody's here, hi, chat. I can't see you yet. Okay. You channel. Guys, from the, the broadcast I just did, it said I made 25 cents. A whole 25 cents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think... I think we're doing it. Okay. Yeah. This is working. I just want to make sure the chat comes up. <gasps> I see everybody. Hi, guys. What's up, y'all? We did it. <laughs> With yeah. the collective effort. We did it, all right? <laughs> all right, guys. So I will let a few people filter in, and I will kind of update everybody on the story. I know I haven't been on this channel in a while, so... Uh, nobody really knows to come here. Hi, everybody. So we have a treat today. Let me introduce, who's the sexy guy? That sexy guy's name is Draconis, and she's wonderful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let me, uh, so guys, I'm going to, uh, and you know what? I didn't even have to have help from roommate. My, my, my boomer ass, along with uh, Julian says, figured it out. Oh, hey, I'm streaming. I mean, we can see you. Somebody's only got a towel on right now. Anyway. Things you needed to know. Okay, guys. It's, you know who I am, probably. If you don't, hi, I'm Joy. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so, y'all, 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 y'all. I'll wait for a few people to filter in, but I'll kind of go over the story as people are filtering in. 
So I'd like you guys to put a one in the chat if you know about the BetterHelp situation, if you've been following the BetterHelp story, put a one in the chat. Uh, Cam W, I think I'm crushing hard. I'm crushing hard on Draconis too. She's gorgeous. <laughs> put a one in the chat, y'all. Okay. There's no ones. There's no like ones. Oh, there they are. I was going to say, my audience is, you guys are caught blocking me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Let me uh, let me fill everybody in for the people who are still filtering in because I know there's still going to be some some stragglers come along. So BetterHelp is an app for mental health. It's kind of dumb, and we don't like it for many reasons. Go check out my videos. That's all I'm going to say. It's too much to explain. Um, but we found some reviews on BetterHelp that looked really fake. In fact, I think was it Andy that found them? Draconis. Yeah. I, so okay. Andy Andy Wolski was doing a live stream uh, last week, maybe. Um, and he was basically just looking through all of the reviews and the video reviews and basically just taking the piss out of them. And one that caught his eye was, oh, I see roommate. Hi, roommate. Um, roommate, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, one that caught his eye was Rob, um, AKA Julian. And we were kind of laughing about it because his review starts off with Julian says, <laughs> and we kind of thought he just fucked his script up and that he wasn't supposed to say that. And after that live stream, I was really intrigued to try and find out if it was actually like a paid actor because the review seemed kind of fake. So that's how we got to this point. I, I did some digging that night autistically for six hours maybe <laughs> on the website. <laughs> um, yeah, I just totally spoke out looking through like all the marketing websites obsessively. I got to the second to last page and his face pops up and I was like, I've got you. I found you, Julian. I got you. Yeah, so I, I quickly just put a video together, um, his um, original like better help review alongside the other work he'd done and tweeted that out and it got picked up by PewDiePie and the whole thing blew up. Thank you, because that would have taken me 20 minutes of ramble. I appreciate it, girl. So <laughs> that is exactly what happened. So you all know I've been following the story and Jack Tonis has been a, a really loyal, awesome supporter. And I've, you know, we've talked in comments and on, on you now a little bit. And so she sent it to me and I was just like, oh my God, you found him, you fucking found him. So we were on it and I was like, let's do an interview together. And she's like, okay. So we, we messaged him, we set it up, and then we both were, like, we were both messaging going, I feel really bad, he seems really nice. Yeah, I felt really <laughs> guilty, like, I put my video up and it, it was all funny, like, yeah, making fun of the Julian Says thing and PewDiePie making fun of your creepy smile at the end, like, it was all a big joke, but when he contacted me, I was like, oh no, this is actually a person with a life and a career and, like, a family, and I was like, oh, I'm such a horrible person, why have I done this, and then... I, I was scared because I was like, oh no, he's gonna like him and better help are gonna sue me. I should just delete my video and like, you know, just but he was really nice. Like he was really friendly. He's like, Yeah, I just wanted to talk and like explain my side of things. So that's kind of why we have him on so we can ask him questions about like how he ended up doing that interview in the first place. I exactly. So yeah, so that's so then we we talked, we set it up and uh yeah, we were both like feeling really bad and I did a couple videos. Uh, and I, I, and so I, I want you guys to understand like here's kind of, this is what happened to him. And y'all know kind of like how things happen with me. I put myself on YouTube, did a couple videos not thinking about it and just everything blew up and I didn't know what to do. You know, but in his case, it's like he got, so so we'll, we'll, we'll explain this. Well, I don't know if you would said this, but uh, we found him on Fiverr. So well, we, I'm sorry, you did. I didn't do anything. Yeah, so, I'll share his link right now in, in the chat. Like, yes. If, if you guys uh, want to hire him for anything, it's the least we could do after like. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm going to hire him for an intro. I can't link it in the chat, by the way, Joy. It just removed it, so you'll have to do oh, it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Um, <laughs> hold on. That, that'll be another 20 minutes. So I'll, I'll take care <laughs> of that in a second. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so, so Dractonus found him on Fiverr, and he is. And, and Rob, and it, by the way, his name is Rob. So Rob, welcome, and we're happy to have you. Well, um, thank you for having me. So, uh, so I know you. So basically, you're like just a paid actor and spokesperson on Fiverr, right? That's what you do. Absolutely, that is that is my whole involvement in all of this. Um, yeah, just a, a a poorly paid actor. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, take us through. 
or you know, fuck it. I'm I'm gonna gonna kind of ask you questions, but like I said, this is really laid back. You can explain it however the fuck you want. But so 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 take us through like uh what what happened because I know there's a lot of people who think that better help specifically paid you or that it was somebody else i know we talked about it but and i i, I know you want to be respectful of people's privacy which we're totally down with on this channel but if you can take us through exactly like what the hell happened <laughs> like that got you to this point what did you what did you do wrong rob what did you do <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah let's i guess we can go back to the very beginning um so before we start like it definitely said in the script to say Julian says. I want to make that very clear. I did not mess <laughs> with the script. Up. Up. No, no, I take full ownership of my scripts. I know them well. I didn't fuck it up at all. So if for those of you who don't really know how Fiverr works, you know, if you want any particular service, you reach out to someone who's selling said service. So one of the gigs I have on there, they're called gigs, is to be a company spokesperson. To be honest with you, it started out just to be a face to companies trying to spread a message. So, you know, if you had a website and you were selling, selling, I don't know, phones, I'll say I'm the owner of this phone website, buy my phones kind of thing. Don't worry, I've done some really weird videos on there as well. We can maybe, we can talk yeah. about those later maybe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But, any, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah, so going back, I literally, you get a message, you get a script, you do it, you send it off to him and then you get a review. So I probably, I think that was about 30 days ago. I probably did that job maybe, about a month ago maybe. And then it was literally the other night, my partner's brother texted her to say, oh, Rob, uh, Rob, you're on this PewDiePie video. <laughs> oh my God, you found out through friends. <laughs> yeah, I was just, but the worst, thing, the worst thing about it all was, I guess, is I don't even know who this PewDiePie guy is. So I'm like, okay, that's, that's Where cool. have you been? I know. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know. I had to Google him. I was like, PewDiePie, who's this? Oh, he earns a lot of money on YouTube. Okay, that's cool. Um, but yeah, so we're like, okay, watch the video. And we're thinking, oh, crap, this guy's got a lot of subscribers, a lot of views to this video. He has a lot of traction. This could go crazy. <laughs> um, and I panicked. I just absolutely, honestly, went so anxious, just panicked, thinking, oh, my God, like, you know, don't get me wrong, like, I don't mind people seeing my face, but for the right reasons. And this is quite a negative thing. How and, did you uh, feel about the way, like, PewDiePie was, like, making fun of you? <laughs> like, zooming in on your smile. <laughs> the, thing that's, the thing that's hurt the most is, is the creepy smile at the end. The creepy, the creepy smile at the I end. I think he made good. it even longer than it was to make it, like, extra creepy. <laughs> he sure did, yeah. I think and I he's just sat there. <laughs> <laughs> Massively, it, yeah. Like I say, it's exaggerated. It's really kind of made it seem. Well, it, it is quite a creepy smile, isn't it? Really. Um, <laughs> but yeah, to be honest, I've still not like I've had to stop myself from looking at all the little videos, looking at the the comments, just because I'll get sucked into this whirlwind and uh, you know whirlpool of hate. I guess. And yeah, then, that's smart. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me wrong, like, I was tempting. I thought, no, do you know what? It's just not worth it. And then, yeah, I came across uh, Jack Tonus' video and I was like, okay, this is, this is focused at me. Like, I'm really worried now. Because before there was that, that element of, yeah, they've seen my face, but they don't know me. They don't know where, the, where I've come from. It's just my face. So it's like, okay, well, now it's public. I need to probably try and reach out. Yeah, I just and... want to say sorry for destroying your career. <laughs> And it was never my intention to like it was I realized I doxed you in a sense by finding you a Fiverr profile. I didn't really dox you because you know you're a public salesperson, but I did find your profile. And my intention in doing that was never to like focus it on you. It was to prove that hey look, we we had an inkling that maybe better help were using like paid reviews. And I just so happened to coincidentally find this guy on Fiverr who is the exact same guy in the video. I even chose a video with you in the same place, with the same wall, mm -hmm. the same background, just in case anyone tried to say, oh, it's not the same guy. So it was just yeah. really to prove that BetterHelp were being disingenuous. Oh, massively. And honestly, don't like, like we said before, don't worry about the video at all. You know, If anything, I think you did me a favor because you did kind of shine some light on the fact that, yes, he is an actor, so I don't work for BetterHelp or have you know associations with BetterHelp sort of in the hierarchy so that did me a massive favor 
Um, but it also gave me a really good platform for me to reach out and contact you. And don't get me wrong, like, I didn't just contact you. I did contact PewDiePie himself, but obviously didn't hear anything back. And some of the other kind of names who were I'm really surprised in the he didn't mix. get in touch with you because he could have done a video with you. And I think that would have got a lot of views after the first oh, it's one. missed out. It's missed out big time. Now That's you guys right. have got it. Yeah. I mean? so. We'll take you to <laughs> Yeah, and Rob, you probably know this now, but PewDiePie is literally the, he's the number one YouTuber on the planet. Like, he has biggest. a good reputation so know, yeah. for hiring people on Fiverr as well. Like, it's not the first time he's done it. Oh, and yeah, he's gotten in trouble really doing well that. for him. So. He, he has gotten in, uh, he's gotten in trouble for, for doing that. I don't know if you've seen it, Rob, but there's a guy on there that, like, he'll pose as Jesus and say anything. And, like, I PewDiePie, Jesus, yes. yeah, so, and PewDiePie paid him to say stuff about, like, Nazis and stuff and got in a lot of trouble. Just, and it was supposed to be a joke, but... <laughs> You know, like uh, our parents' generation, uh, old media doesn't always understand our, our our joking humor and concepts. But, but uh, yeah. So, <laughs> poor thing. Yeah, me and Dark Tonus were just sitting there feeling really bad. But the big thing I wanted to do was I wanted to point out because I felt like you were gonna get. I think this is kind of where Dark Tonus was coming from too. Somebody was gonna find you one way or another. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like it's it's better now that you're put in this situation if you have a place to kind of be able to say exactly what happened because. As, and I don't know if you've seen my videos, Rob. I do a fuck ton of videos. I wouldn't expect you to. I don't even watch my videos. <laughs> like, I, I've done a lot of videos on better help. And, you know, uh, the situation is that all these YouTubers, without even knowing really what it was, were promoting it to their audience. And there's all this shady stuff going on. And so I've been a little bit hard on the YouTubers because I've been like, you know, you guys have to do your due diligence before you take something on like this because you have an audience and you have to protect them and take care of them. In your case, you're just a, you're an actor, you're a spokesperson, you're a marketing person, you're not, you don't have an audience, you just get paid for a gig. And so I really wanted people to kind of understand the differentiation of like, don't give you shit because like, you are just getting paid to read a script. That is the complete opposite of being a YouTuber and building an audience and gaining people's trust and having them do things on your recommendations. So Yeah, and a yeah. lot of those YouTubers were personally advocating for better help and saying they used it and that cured their depression magically. And it was so great. You you weren't really doing any of that. And mm -hmm. the thing that really confused me about the the testimony that you did is this is where it's weird, okay, because you said that the you sent us a review like a review, didn't you? That the customer had left you after That's you right. yep. up. And from that review, it was sort of like hinted that that was the customer that sent you that they'd had a good experience with BetterHelp, but they were too shy to do their own video testimony, so they hired you to do it. Correct. But, yes. But the review says Julian says, so that implies that the customer is called Julian. But you said that. The person that left you the review is not called Julian, ergo, the person that paid you for the job is not Julian, so they're not the customer. Absolutely, so, yeah. So the, whoever, whoever hired me... We can draw our me, conclusion from that. Yeah, whoever hired me, their username wasn't Julian. It didn't have any, you know, Jules123 or anything like that. I had no, no <laughs> indication it's Julian whatsoever. Um, but on the flip side of that, also, there is no indication that it... You know, the username, let me put it this way, the username wasn't better help. You know, that, that's what I'm trying to say as well. So whoever right. this person is, like, you know, it could be anyone. Um, whether better help the hired them down the line, I don't know, you know. The red flag for me was, oh, you know, I hired him because I was too shy to leave my own video review. Okay, so you had such great service with this website that instead of just leaving like a written review like a normal person, you decided to go on like a marketing website and pay a guy to leave a video review for you with a script. Like, I love a lot of things. I love a lot of companies, but I've never had like such great service that I felt inclined to purchase like an actor to like no. talk about it for me. That's yeah. so strange. Well, that's what I was thinking. That? It doesn't make sense. And then also the timing, Rob, you said this was done. The order was filled like about a month ago. I think, yeah, about 30 days roughly, give or take. So my thing is, I, and Jack Thomas, I don't know what you think, but I'm wondering, cause like, so last year, Rob, they did a lot of big ramp up around World Mental Health Day. And I think that's just part of the marketing ploy. And we think that's what they were trying to do this year, because it's like, if you go on the website and who knows how many of them are real, but there are, aren't there like thousands? There's at least hundreds of reviews that at least you can access. A lot of them seem like they're copy and pasted. It's kind of the exact same things, but it's, uh, I, I, I'm just curious the timing of why somebody would have hired you. Because I think like basically our suspicion is that 
you know, BetterHelp probably had people who went just looking for anybody that would give some type of review just to kind of, I guess, beef up their, their website or whatever. I don't know that it's just, it's so, it's so weird. It's so like, and if, I don't know if you've seen him, Rob, if you saw Andy Worski's video, like the whole video and there are other reviews where it's just like, you can tell people are like just reading from a script. It just looks so fake. It looks like really fake. I went deep. I went through your reviews, Rob, to try and find if BetterHelp had left you a review. I mean, I, I went deep. Yeah, I was. And the reason I said I could have gone after any of those video reviews, there were some genuine ones in there, I think, but I do think most were fake. And I said the reason I went after you is because of the whole Julian Says thing. It was an easy target. You were very identifiable, and yours was more like professional than the others. They were like, you know, on a mobile phone, like at work, like very fake. Yeah. Um, I mean, but so. then again, one thing that's disappointing is it's perhaps not the best video I've ever done. You know, you can see my eyes scanning the, the words. You know, it doesn't give a good advert for my skills. Normally, I'm, I'm focused. I'm in the zone. Show it. I was having a down day that day. Oh, you know, oh that's really like, this is this is a chance for you to branch off. Like, I think I think what a lot of people do is when they come to a place like this in their lives, they can double down and they can try and resist it, or you can just go with it. You can embrace the whole Julian meme. Like, yeah. I, I noticed you suggested setting up. Um, Julian says earlier on the Andy Worski stream, and I was going to ask yeah. if you have because someone has registered juliansays.com. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. They're Someone has registered it. Yeah, money for that. Today, no. no, but they haven't registered juliansays.co.uk. I'm on it. So I'm on it. No one else is watching this, please. That. Juliansays.com. So Someone actually took your there. idea. I thought it was yeah. you. Someone just no. registered it today. Unbelievable. But I'm available for Julian Says, you know, speak outs, birthdays, Christmases, bar mitzvahs, <laughs> anything you need. Julian Says, happy birthday. So for the people that weren't watching the stream earlier, like, do you want to tell them what your idea was? Yeah, so obviously, um, I mean, I'll be honest here, the, the, the videos I do on, on Fiverr are not obviously I mean, stream of income. If anything, they're a bit of fun and just a bit of extra spending money, really. I think I'm going to naturally get a downturn in business from those because now I'm known as the better help guy and the Julian <laughs> says guy. Like, no, one, no one's going to want to hire me unless it's for like a joke. So um, no, thanks for that joke, Tony. Um, <laughs> no, so why don't we put a spin on it? Julian says uk. I can be there, available to hire you. Tell me what you want to say, and then it'll be whatever message you want me to portray. So you want to ask ask your crush out? It says Julian says you should go on a date with with Tony or whatever. I, I love it. You could have t-shirts like Julian says t-shirts. You could have merch. You know what? We need to, we need to, we need to end this call pretty soon so I can get on this before anyone else steals it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if you saw Joey, but Andy actually got him to do like a promo for one of his um, YouTube channels. Oh, fuck Andy. That's what I was going to do. We were talking about it. Like, and, you and can do it as well. Like the more work for him, the better. Oh, yeah. I know. No, I'm wait, homeless I, now. I, you're going to have... And I told Rob, I was like, Rob, okay, like you're going to have to... I need you to do something in like the best Midwestern accent you can. I'm going to need... I, <laughs> And the worse, the better. It doesn't matter. And I'll oh, cowboy hat. Please, Rob, <laughs> please. You have to do it. You have to do it. And we'll, we'll put it as like, fuck it. We'll put it as the trailer on my channel. We'll have it as a constant advertisement. Yeah, I'm, I know we can pay like extra to get you to wear like a suit and like different outfits. Oh, that's right. There's, there's different places you can there. stand in. Yes, different backgrounds. It's all there. All the optional packages are there. Everything yes. There. <laughs> but, but you did say that you... Although you don't fully research all the companies that approach you, um, like I noticed in the chat, a lot of people are asking who hired you. Um, Rob isn't going to disclose the name of the customer because obviously that's like private information. Right. But we he doesn't know if it's better help. It didn't say better help or anything like that. So we we don't really know. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess like for me, just to answer that really is um, so yeah. So I can I can sort of put a line in the sand and say, whoever did hire me, their username wasn't Julian or anything like that. And it wasn't anything to do with BetterHelp. Never once did they introduce themselves as BetterHelp or as anyone really. Um, their profile, when I've kind of researched their profile since it's all come out, says they're based in Albania. It says they're located in Albania. Mm -hmm. Once again, whether that's true or not, that's, that's out for debate, but that's, that's what it is, you know? Where is Albania? It's in Europe uh, somewhere, right? Eastern Europe, right? 
I think it's like, yeah. It's like someone left me a comment. They said, so they got a guy from Albania to pay a guy from Britain to leave a review for a company in America. Yeah. And when you put it like that, it sounds so fucking sketchy. It does. Like, it sounds dodgy as fuck. It does. It does. And I wanted to ask you too, Rob, um, and you don't have to say anything if you don't want mm. to, but like, I know, so I know like Fiverr's kind of like your fun side money and your side gig, but in your real life, you do, do you want to talk about what you do at all? I, or you don't have to, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah, massively. So I, okay. I own a sales and marketing firm in England, in a lovely place called Leicester. Um, so we do anything from sales training, sales contracts, anything sales we do, really. I've also written two books, uh, which are on Amazon, which is pretty cool, all to do with sales and marketing and stuff. So that was one of the one things I was kind of worried about with these videos, because they are a bit of fun, a bit of fun really. The last thing I want for kind of my professional reputation is someone to see you know, this video coming out and kind of, you know, tarnishing, I guess, who I am, really. Um, so far, it's not. So we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I've done worse videos on Fiverr that could <laughs> really ruin me. So, no, like, I get it. I don't, get it. Don't advertise that. Like, yeah. Yeah, don't say anything, Rob. Start, start privating things. Delete them. Well, no, I mean, no, you said you did, though, didn't you? You said when it first came out, like, you panicked and you tried to, like, change your profile name and your picture and, like, go into hiding basically oh massively I, I contacted fiverr to try and change my username change my profile picture i even took off uh they're called spokesperson videos so the spokesperson options on fiverr just like I say to try and go a bit in, in, incognito um but i think now sort of that raw emotions died off i'm trying to not necessarily embrace it's not the right word now i feel like i've got my side of the story across i feel like i don't have to hide if that makes sense because right. I can kind of stop all the rumors. You, know? you separate yourself from like BetterHelp as a company. Massively, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, and, and that's the thing is that a lot of people who don't know this line of work, they might not, I think it's kind of confusing for people. They might not understand. It's not like you're an employee of like BetterHelp. You are like, a, you are an independent contractor. Somebody just reached out and said, hey, we want to hire you to be an actor for a second. And, and especially Fiverr. Fiverr is still kind of a newish thing. So not everybody fully understands what it is or, or what you do, um, but but yeah, and I know people had said stuff like, well, you should have researched the company. It, it, it's different because this is what, you are literally paid just to say what companies want you to say. Your, your goal, you're not trying to necessarily get an influence over people. You are just doing as they ask you to do. So I just see it as, as very different. And on top of that, like I was looking, you have, like 350 reviews, like, holy shit, how much work have you done on there? Like, when I saw that number, I was like, there's no way you could research all these places. There's no way. Yeah. No, and that's it, you know, and I, I, you know, I do have to kind of agree in the fact that, yeah, perhaps I probably should have put some due diligence in the people I represent and the people I work for. However, what, where, you know, for one, who am I to kind of comment as to whether a, good, a business is good or bad. Every business you research is going to have good reviews, bad reviews, good experiences, bad experiences. And to be honest with you, the majority of the work I normally get are sort of startup businesses, small enterprises, medium sized businesses. Most of the time, you'll never hear from ever again. This is perhaps like the biggest, One of your biggest jobs. business. Yeah, massively. Massively. So um, yeah, to take the time to research them all, I'd, yeah. I have to say, like, I I understand why you don't look into them all. Like, it would have taken you a long time to go through the website and find all that. And you wouldn't have realized anything wrong, just like no. a lot of YouTubers didn't, just like a lot of people that used didn't. Because, I mean, most people don't dig into the TOS and like, the terms and conditions of websites. We all just click accept. Like, very mm -hmm. few people look that deeply into it. So I think the argument for me is even if you had looked into this company, I don't think you would have found anything particularly bad. You would have thought, oh, right, okay, it's a website that offers online therapy for people because on their main page, that's what they say. They compare themselves with real world therapy. It's only when you look deep into the TOS that they, I think they've now changed it, that they say that it's not like a replacement, that they can't guarantee the license, degrees, qualifications of any of their therapists, and that it's actually your responsibility mm -hmm. as like a depressed, anxious, suicidal person to like hire a PI to like look into the counselor before you speak to them, which is sure. just crazy. <laughs> but yeah. I, I kind of respect you because you, you said you do have some lines that you draw with the work that you do. And when I was trying to find you, I went through quite a lot of people on that website. Um, there was a girl 
that was advertising like everything. She was advertising fertility pills aimed at couples that have been trying to have like children for a long time and struggling, hadn't been able to get pregnant and like seeing how she'd had children with them and her and a partner have been trying for years and like acting all happy about it. And that is like really preying on like vulnerable women that can't have children. Like that to me, if I was in that line of work, that would be something that I wouldn't be willing to like shill. Like I just would not do that. Massively. And yeah, you know, I, I have turned down work and sort of, you know, cancelled orders with things that I don't agree with or things that I don't think are right. And things that I don't agree with would be for myself if I get seen to represent that company or if I feel that what they're doing is kind of preying on on a certain, I don't know what the word is, like a minority or someone who may perhaps be vulnerable for whatever reason, you know, have turned down work for that, you know, if I don't feel that it's right, you know. Have you ever had like been approached by, you know, like the penis enlargement companies like? <laughs> you said you've done like weird stuff. Have you ever done any of those? I can I mean, do it. Too. <laughs> I mean, you Honestly. know, I mean, they, they've sent me the pills. They do work. No, I'm joking. Um, so, <laughs> I think, I think, I'll be honest. I did one, one male enlargement. One. Oh my god, you have. I have, and then do you know what? It was like I think I sent it off, and I felt really uncomfortable. I felt really silly. And I was just like, oh, do you know what? Never again. Because once again, if that gets out, like, what if my mum watches it? You know, like that's, oh that's mental. That, that's not good at all, is it? Rob, I, okay. And what we're going to do together, I'm hiring you to talk about products for yeast infections. We're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, I'm, I'm oh, done. we're going to have so much fun. I'm going to, I'm going to ruin your life, Rob, and hopefully make you fun. <laughs> I hope. So, okay. So like, so I just, I'm just imagining. So, you know, you have your own sales company, you do well mm. and Fiverr probably, I, I call it bullshit money, right? It's just play money. It's just something yeah. for fun. You get paid what, 10, 20, 30, 50 bucks, maybe sometimes just to, you know, do little fun things. And it's something to build and put on the resume. And, and then this whole thing blows up and you're just trying to figure it out. But here's the cool thing. Like you have been like, this is actually a selling point for your website. You are you are featured on the biggest YouTube channel on the planet with millions of views, millions. Like that in Absolutely. itself, I think could could you know kind of in some weird way give you some clout because this could maybe help branch your business out into maybe the YouTube world or like the viral marketing world. It's not just a thought, even like I could give you a list of some of the biggest YouTubers that I watch. That thanks to you as well, I've my video has been on their platforms because of you. Right. So like, it's more than just PewDiePie. Like a lot of people have been playing your clip. Rob, you changed lives, Rob, with what you did. <laughs> no, better help change lives. I was gonna say, this is, yeah, no, it's, it's good. And uh, like I say, it's, it's the positives that are in the situation, right? And, and that's the good thing. That's, that's what's good that's coming out of it. And the other cool thing, Rob, is that like, this is typically how the internet works. Typically, like this will die down. That's the other thing. Like give it two, two weeks to a month, it will die down. At the very end, you're gonna have this, real. hopefully you'll have more orders coming in. You'll have more money coming in. This will give you even some more clout with what you've already been doing. And you'll have a really fun like bar story forever. Every time you go to the pub and drink, you yeah, have a forever true. awesome story of like, I was in a PewDiePie video, he called me creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think there's some scope for some sort of, you know, creepy smile Julian says, you know, t-shirts, isn't there? There's definitely a market for those. You're going to have to, and I will, I will hawk it for you. I don't even want you profit. I just, I want you to get some money in your pocket from this. This whole thing is just, it's just the silliest shit in the world. Jack Tony, she made me so happy finding him. <laughs> and then I realized how nice you are and it was just like, oh God, how do we help him? What do we I do? Said, I'm just like glad that like he has like a, a good sense of humor. Like a lot of British people, they like we do have like really good sense of humor, and we just kind of take this thing in our stride. Like he didn't get really angry about it and like threaten people. And I think if you had reacted like that, it would have been worse. But the fact that you have just kind of went along with it and just mm. taken things as they came, like people saw that you were a nice guy and like they appreciate that. No, oh, I certain YouTubers that have tried to defend themselves and put the blame on other people. Yeah, Phil. and and I've got, I've got to say, like, I massively, massively appreciate you know both yourselves and all the other YouTubers, and even like I'm trying to keep my eye on the comments and the people you know kind of I guess give me some support. So honestly, thank you so much for allowing me to kind of have my say and put my personality across and my side of the story across. You know, 
that's um it's made it's made everything a lot better i think for both me and and the whole situation really so thank you no worries and here's the thing I, i'm sorry i just realized i haven't peed since i woke up i have to do a really quick pee and i pee like a man i need to do an advertisement for this rob we'll, we'll get with this we'll get some type of pissing supplement but hey Dractonis, do you guys <laughs> mind taking over for just a second that, give fine. me like give me literally a minute and a half make I'm sure you take a bit longer because people will accuse you of not washing your hands well they like, accuse me of everything anyway. they, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter it doesn't matter as long as i don't get pee on anything else Anyway, um, do y'all mind taking over for a second? I'm gonna mute yeah, my mind. Fine. Yeah, that's okay, fine. Oh, that's cool. okay. Yeah. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, so there's, there's actually guys, a couple of comments. Like in the said chat before, for I am you. trying on the comments. So if you've yeah. if you've got any questions, please do. I'm I'm trying my so trying my best to slip Speedy through. Bird said to you, so you know how we mentioned you could take advantage of this with like your marketing on Fiverr? And we talked about earlier when we went on the call, we talked about um PewDiePie hired someone on Fiverr like last year. And it was okay. those those Indian guys to hold up that sign with a message. Well, they got there was like a lot of commotion about that. They became viral, and Speedy Bird said um, the Indian Fiverr guys did much better after their dealings with PewDiePie. They got loads more work through Fiverr, so there is the potential that this could actually get you more work rather than like being a negative thing. Oh, massively, massively, and it's one of those like say sort of how do i like this that'd be amazing amazing positive if i do however it's not sort of my be all and end all if that makes sense you know don't get wrong if, if more people want to work with me then then work with me that that's cool you know i'll, I'll, I'll do it in that better help testimonial you know i'll do i'll do my very best but if it was if it doesn't if it dies down then it dies down you know so did you say that Fiverr was sort of like, you said it was some videos that you did in your spare time, it's not your main source of income or? No, exactly. So because with my own business, uh, sales and marketing coach and consultant, I'm really busy with that during the day. And on Fiverr, I also do writing jobs. So I write articles, blog posts, I write um, sales emails and other kind of things on there. And then it was just one of those things where I'd seen other people doing these videos. I thought, well, if they can do it, then why can't I? And I think I'm just a stereotypical British entrepreneur and just thought, well, I'll give it a go and, you know, see what happens. Didn't, didn't really, you know, it just started off, honestly, it just started off with my mobile phone and then the order started to come through, bought a microphone for it, bought a ring light. You know, it's just, it's, it took off really well, to be fair. I think a lot of companies like to hire like British people because a lot of our regional dialects, they just, they seem like really down to earth and genuine. Um, I, I think people associate them as being more trusting than some maybe like like the American accents where it seems very like artificial. Because I've noticed yes. that with a lot of American companies, they do tend to have reviews from, from English speakers, like, well, in, you know, British like natives. Do you ever get, yeah, um, like Joy mentioned, people... like the Western accent, do you ever get people that ask you to put on like an American accent? No, never, and, and oh. thank God, honestly, because I can't do any accent whatsoever. So Would you like to try, probably... or is that putting you on the spot? Um, I came yeah, back well... at the perfect time. Rob, I'm going to put the pressure on you right now. <laughs> I'm not doing an accent right now. I'm not. <laughs> Let me practice. Let me practice. I'll buy a hat. I'll buy a hat, and we'll plan out a good video. Give me time. <laughs> Rob, give me, you send me your PayPal link. I, I'm going to send you the British pounds to buy that hat. And uh, yeah, you, you, you do whatever you want. Look up look up Midwestern slang. And I wanted to say this because being British, y'all might not realize this. I think for like American culture, America, I think for American culture, it's more like we look at your accent, like you two could say anything and you're gonna sound 10 more times intelligent than we do. Like that's a lot, I'm not even kidding. It's like, I think, I think there's a, there's a level of people like, they assume a sophistication when it comes to uh, people in the UK. So I think that's part of it. Cause like, I mean, if you listen to the difference between you guys talk and me talk, I sound like I'm <laughs> shouting and I've got beer stuck on my vocal cords half the time. Do you see what you I'm are, saying? You are very loud. Yeah, I, I thought am. you were shouting, to be honest. I get told I'm too quiet. I get told I'm doing like ASMR. It's like, no, I'm just talking. <laughs> ASMR. And, and, that's, and that the thing is too, like, because I actually, I was married to somebody from France for a while and he would say the same thing. He was like, you always know when the Americans are someplace because they're so fucking loud. And it's it's like everybody, everybody is very loud and very animated here. It's just like we're toddlers that just figured out how to string sentences together. 
I think that's kind of like part of what it is. But yeah, you guys just, you can say whatever you want. It's going to sound intelligent. Like there's going to be a level of you could be James Bond with the shit you're doing because you sound British. It's just what it is. I've done like transcription work and like sometimes I have to transcribe like American adverts and like the sheer difference between your advertisements and ours, like your advertisements are so hilarious, like your commercials, like they're so over the top. Yeah. Like the people in them. Yeah. Well, I can, I was saying I can see how even an American company might want to hire someone like Rob just to tone it down a bit. Like it seems It gives it more validity. It gives it more validity and holds more weight. It's like, oh, this guy probably is a professor. Like that's how we think. They fuck it up by putting Julian says in the script and like ruin it all, but yeah. And that would be America too. Absolutely. All of it. <laughs> it all. Okay. So Rob, this is a personal favor for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, cause I've been learning about this. Now y'all have white trash over there, right? Cause we have white trash cultures here and y'all have that over there, right? Yeah. I think they're known as chavs over here. Perhaps. Chavs? Or yeah. Ch- chavs are like sort of like the, the folks that go around with like uh, caps on and drink alcohol in the streets and the track suits and like. Are they bros? Up. Is it our like? It's is it our bros? Perhaps, They're just yeah, like really maybe. like lonely, educated like scum that like attack people on the streets and cause attack trouble. Attack people on the streets. <laughs> like so you'd be walking to like example. Like, I would be walking to the shop and there would be a group of chavs, like maybe six lads and a, a Staffordshire bull terrier, okay. like the token like dog on a lead to make them look hard, which means like they're tough. I just want to go in the shop and then they'd either like make a crude comment about like wanting to sleep with me or they'd ask me what the fuck I was looking at and you're like that's like what a chav is they're just like really rude like young lads typically that hang around in gangs okay because like I I've talked about like growing up around white trash and like you know our our different types of white trash but I'm always curious about like what white trash is like other places. Like, I don't know if either of you know that this series, the trailer park boys, I learned there's white trash in Canada that live in trailer parks. And I was just, I was so happy. And every time they try to sound angry and hard because they're Canadian, they'll go aid. It sounds really cute. So they can't be angry at all. But I'm curious. Okay. Like, so, cause people have, I, I've heard this before. So like white trash, does it have an accent? Cause here white trash is a mix of like people who are like, like hillbilly and kind of ghetto it's a mix of all that, but it's just very loud and confused. It's like watching a Mark Wahlberg movie, kind of. Like we just don't use the term white trash, really. I mean, I, we just don't really say it here because we don't really mm. refer to people by the color of their skin. Or... Oh, no, no, sorry. Well, I, that, that, actually, that makes that makes sense. <laughs> I, guess, I, I guess when you say white trash, like, we don't have, like, trailer parks here either, by the way. That's like, what I was going to ask. That's not a thing, yeah. No. You don't have, like, trailer park homes. That doesn't, because it does exist no. in Canada. Not really, no. Well, we have... We, we have gypsies. We, there's the odd one, isn't there? But Yeah, yeah like, and they're usually, like, like, holiday homes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. It just registered. Did you say you have gypsies? Yeah, we so yeah. we have gypsies. What the fuck is that? What travelers. is that? Okay, so they're usually like uh, like communities of people that travel from place to place in a country in like small caravans. So they don't like have a stationary brick house. Um, they don't usually like pay council tax or like work in permanent employment. So there'll be a community of people. They're usually like, really close or friends. And they just move around from area to area. They'll set up in fields in like a big caravan community, like the kids, the adults. They have little dogs running around. And they usually get kicked off by police because they're not really allowed to stay in most of the places that they do. And yeah, we, they usually say, called like gypsies or travelers. Like Yeah, half the time they're kind of forced on really, aren't they? Sort of by the police or the councils or whatever. And Yeah, I mean, they, they can have like a bad reputation time, like, in, in some places. It just depends because... Um, usually because they're forced away so quickly like there's a lot of like rubbish and stuff like that that's like trash by the way rubbish like, that's like trash. Mm. that one i knew jack thomas <laughs> i knew that one okay so so you, are they like where are they from are they just is it just like everywhere or like where it's like different types of gypsies so there's like and they're like called like romany gypsies or like romanian gypsies that's why people call via gypsy because he's from like romania like, you know, the YouTuber V? Oh. Always call him the gypsy. Um, a lot of them are from Ireland. So Ireland? Them, like, ha- yeah, so a lot of them have like an Irish accent. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. 
Have you never heard of like a gypsy? No, I've heard of a gypsy. I just didn't like, I thought it was like something in a Disney movie. I didn't really understand like what it is, I guess. I didn't know it was like a thing. And by the way, do you guys understand Scottish people? Because I don't. And I had a Scottish <laughs> boyfriend for four years. So you yeah. You do. So you, you, can, you can interpret, you can translate it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can. I think you get I, used to it, I think. When I, I, I remember we did a, when I lived in France, we did an interview with a, with a DJ who was Scottish and we had to use subtitles and we had to call him and ask him what he was saying. And I felt bad because everybody was re relying on me for the English. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I have no clue. <laughs> this, is not, this is not my world. Okay, so Rob, here's another question. What, okay, <clears throat> so, because I've heard people talk about this. What is Cockney? What is that? Because I've heard people do a Cockney accent. What is that? Yeah, so, so Cockney is, is London. So the, the big city and, you know, obviously the capital, London. So Cockney is that. So um, I'm not going to try the accent. I'm not going to try the accent. Like, ah, and stuff. Yeah. Because the thing people don't understand about England is they think we all speak in what's known as like a received pronunciation accent. So like the BBC reporters, they the, the accent they speak, it's not actually like a regional accent. It's like a social one. It's one that you're taught in like private schools and things like that. No one really speaks like that naturally. But okay. even though we're such a small country, we can be 20 miles apart and sound completely different. So mm -hmm. I live like in a place called Cheshire, like near Liverpool. Rob is from like Leicester, presumably. Um, and, you know, the people in our areas can sound completely different. There's actually a really cool video on YouTube where a guy does like accents from all over England and they're completely different. He does like 20 different accents. So a lot yes. of people know Cockney and Scouse and Scouse is like from Liverpool. I don't know if you've heard that. I, I maybe I'm not not that I can think of. I just know I hear people talk about a Cockney accent. So that's just people that are from London, then, right? That's what that is. For oh, part um, of London. Speedy Bird asked a few times now. Please ask Rob this. We need to clarify that it wasn't Better Help based in Albania. Does he know if it was a talent agency that employed him through Fiverr? Yeah. So I've just seen that question come through as well um so yeah speedy bed i really don't know i'll be honest or like all i see sort of my end and i think um have you guys shared the the review on your videos yet or uh, yes i included it alongside your statement so when oh, you okay. mention it in your statement the review comes up on screen okay yeah so sort of uh, i've cropped it off obviously because uh, i don't want to sort of drag people into this un unwillingly i guess but just above that review if you can ever take a look at it and um, there is a username and it is just a generic username. I'll be honest. That's that's all I've seen my side. So I can't confirm whether it is a talent agency or not. Yeah, it, it's not that it's not that we're saying like one hundred percent that it was better help that hired him. We're just saying um, it looks shady. Like yeah. if, if it was just this, it would be fine. It's just that there was all the other stuff that came out, and then once Andy Worski made that stream where he started looking into all of these videos, and um, half of the people's eyes were going like this yes you know, it just looked a bit mushy right on yeah so we don't we don't know exactly like we don't know the situation we just know it looks weird <laughs> we're just kind of making comments on it but no rob does not work for better health he has no affiliation with better health other than somebody asked him to do a review on their behalf we don't know if that's better help or not but see now now i just want to know all about accents damn it damn it <laughs> both of you so you can live 20 miles from a place and the accent's very different. Yeah, so Massively. like Liverpool so what's and weird, it's, so I'm in, Yeah, so it's oh, like, oh, sorry, sorry, Tony. Um, yeah, so like even like Leicester, I'm from Leicester and I don't have a Leicester accent. Leicester's very, um, it's like Leicester. That's like how people say Leicester normally. It's like, you're probably doing what I'm doing. Like when you're around other people from other countries, you kind of put on a nicer accent. But when you're with your family and you get angry, like I start talking <laughs> scouts. Like, <laughs> oh, no, honestly, people always think I'm from London or from further down south because I've got quite a neutral accent, I guess. But yeah, like like you said, Tony, so sort of like from even where, from where I am, as soon as you start head up to like Manchester, Liverpool, the accents just change dramatically don't they yes. see it's, it, it's crazy because like uh and like i said when i lived in france and my my uh my, my husband at the time came over to the united states he was blown away because he didn't understand like i, I was i was laughing because i'm like you can drive from one end of france to the other in a day he's like yeah i'm like you can't do that in the states like that could be like one whole fucking state that could be texas right so it's so so big and it's so spread out so we have like 
lots of different like cultural things and you know uh, what would you call that like accents and different stuff but it's so i mean we're talking like three day drives like it's so mm -hmm. huge i don't know if y'all have been over here but it's just massive mm -hmm. so it's funny because like when i think about england which by the way i don't know if you guys know england is a city right right oh, yeah. us, you know it's it's a litty city and <laughs> <laughs> oh god rob you have no idea what we're talking about there's a there's, there's, I, I don't know. There's these big YouTubers. Oh, that yeah. really annoyed, like, oh, gosh. British people, that, that song. Did it really, like, was, did it really piss y'all off? Yeah, because <laughs> we, we already are dubious about, like, like you said, like, the, the way that you guys perceive us, sometimes we can be quite snobbish and yeah. think the opposite of American people. So when we see stuff like that, we're so <laughs> it's like, did I not teach these people like geography? No, not really. You, you would be surprised at like the, the small amount of world history we learn, and I'm not kidding. Rob, there was a, there's these really big YouTubers, and they made a rap song. And one the YouTuber had a friend or like a business manager that's from England, and they wanted to, or like I think he's from London, and they wanted to cameo him. And, and Directonus, if I'm not saying some of this right, jump in because I don't know all the history of the Paul brothers. But like they did this rap song, this guy from England was like, England is my city, my city is very litty. And people were like, <laughs> what in the hell is this? So people were referring to England as a city and it made me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I like how people in the chat are now having a debate about whether you should be on like EastEnders or Coronation Street, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> like which one you're from? I don't think I'm either, am I? I don't know. I was like, oh, would you be like, what the other ones? It's like Hollyoaks is actually filmed like near me. Like that's like I was gonna say that's a yeah. isn't it, I think, Hollyoaks. Yeah, so Hollyoaks yeah. is near me and then there's like Emmerdale, like there's so many like terrible soaps in England. Yeah. So Rob, I, I question, have you ever and by the way, I realize Draconis, every time I'm asking English culture, I refer to Rob and now I feel like an asshole. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize I was doing that. Because <laughs> you don't live there, Jack Tonis. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so I guess to both of you, I don't know if this would account for you, Draconis, but like, so have you, Rob, have you ever done any, I know you, you're a paid spokesperson, you acting on Fiverr. Have you done any other additional acting? Like I did see the YouTube videos and I did see you in a dress. <laughs> yeah, you said you did some weird videos and you might mention them later, so. Yeah, the shoes, the shoes, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was low effort, Rob. That was like a low energy advertisement. That's right. You didn't even try. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What do you want to hear about? Do you want to hear about my kind of amateur dramatics, or do you want to hear about the weird fiber things I've had to do? I, I want all of it. I want. I, I, yeah, it's 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 rob hour. I want. I yeah. want all of it. Go. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so, um, let's let's start on the fiber. I guess so I've had um, I had one guy. He bought a lot of videos from me where I had to hurt my toes and jump around shouting, and he it was very specific. It was very specific in saying, "Out my toe, my poor poor toe." And hopping around, I had to wear shorts as well. Um, no shock, socks or shoes on. Um, my neighbours must think I'm a right weirdo. Like they must think I'm really hard. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But then, like, it personify your toe. Why, like, why did you have to call it like a poor toe? Who does that? Oh, so I had to do all sorts. So I had to like walk into things. I had to drop things on them. I had to like pretend to be doing DIY with a hammer and then. Because I'm kneeling on the floor, like hit my toe and all this kind of weird stuff. Was this an advertisement for like boots, like steel toe cap boots or something? No, I think he was just enjoying the videos in different ways than what. Oh, many yeah. people were doing. it wasn't Pepsi <laughs> on, was it? <laughs> quit it, quit it, girl. There's a creepy YouTuber that doesn't like me. He's got half a million subs, and he's like. He literally part of what he does for his work is he'll sit in his underwear for a week and then sell it to people and shit and like and he and he has a feet thing. Oh, he says, dear. Oh, I think that's, that's your client. We found yeah. your client. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll drop him a message later, you know. Um but yeah, so he was weird and then yeah. <laughs> he was very odd. Um I've had to sort of get a door and bang on a door, pretend that I'm angry at person a person inside of the door as well. Like Honestly, the poor neighbors. I was, I was gonna, <laughs> like I have to do it like when the neighbors go out in the day because I primarily work from home. So I'll be like, right, all the neighbors are gone. I could do some weird videos now. Um, oh, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> I know. Just uh, so yeah. Police coming over for like domestic like like disruptions. 
I was, I was going to say the one where I was banging on the door saying to someone get out. Like, I was surprised the police didn't turn up. Like, I think there's some kind of domestic disturbance going on or something. <laughs> What's going um, on here, mate? I know. <laughs> so, yeah, they're not all the videos aren't as like straightforward as, as you may think they are, really. But then, I, <laughs> yeah, as um, you pointed out earlier, and, and thank you for sharing the videos, there are videos of me in, on YouTube in a dress. Um, reenacting a take that video. Um, I think yeah, Joy didn't know which, which she wasn't quite sure which band it was. I, I guessed oh. it was Take That, but I couldn't hear because she had to. Yeah, you've never heard of Take That? that no, even when I heard the song, I was like, it, I'm sure it's some British boy band that I just don't know. I don't know who this is. You know, Robbie yes. Williams. Yeah, he's the one that thinks he's an alien, right? He, he or doesn't he? Or he's he's real weird, <laughs> isn't he? Like he's he's isn't he? I mean, I'm not saying that to be mean. Like I like aliens too. <laughs> He's just really weird. Anyways, go ahead. He's an alien. <laughs> in the sun, right? One, go ahead. I'll shut up. Go ahead. Well, Robbie Williams used to be in Take That. That's like where he his career began. He was in the boy band with them. Okay. Yeah, he. I, I remember he wasn't a boy band first, and then he branched off. I thought he was a big old. We I, I've probably seen him in like the alien blogs and shit. I look at like talking about UFOs. That's where I recognize it. Are you thinking of like Tom Cruise? No, no, that's that's uh, that's e meters and shit. That's Xenu. Yeah, that's that's, that's like, different. That's Scientology. That's right? Dractonus. That's a made up alien. Seriously, <laughs> I'm disappointed in you for not knowing that. <laughs> so, Rob, I'm curious. The video in the dress. Uh, it was it was <laughs> awesome because you. It was like aside from the dress and the wig, you didn't even try. And I was like laughing. I was like, oh. So what was that about? What were you what were you doing with that? What were you filming? Oh, so that <laughs> that's that's how old it was. So that that do you know what? Right. So that was back in college. So that would have been twelve yeah, years ago. It, it looked like you were in school. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was about. It looked like you were on the school field actually. <laughs> and why were you talking to David Hasselhoff? I have so many questions. <laughs> I had a massive. I had a weird massive thing. A thing for David Hasselhoff, not perhaps in that way, but obviously he was an idol of mine. He was very cool um, in a cheesy way. Um, so that it was the in-school joke that me and David Hasselhoff were, were best mates, so I wanted to be like David Hasselhoff. So in this video, we are, what are we doing? We're trying to talk about this new technology called 3G, which now is like really old, right? So this is how old it was. And the videos, the videos talking about how you can, you know, stream music and video chat, and even back then, probably like five percent of us had smartphones. You know, we were still on like the Nokia bricks and all that kind of thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> and to be honest, it wasn't even my project. I had nothing to do with the video. I wasn't even in their class. And my friends were like, "Oh, we need to do this video." And I was like, "Ah, oh, I'll wear a dress." And they were like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> <laughs> just immediately and, uh, volunteered. Nobody even asked. I'm like, I'm doing this in a dress. This is could happening. You, could you not have think, like hired a woman to be in it, or did you want it to be like like comedic? I think I, I think I wanted to wear the dress. I'll be honest. Oh, oh, right. okay. That's cool. um, I, so we picked to the scene. We're, we've obviously taken out all the kit, and I had to go to our textiles class, um, and not you know knock on the door, say, "Oh, Miss, whatever, I need to borrow a dress." Have you got there? I am trying on dresses in, in some random class and making a video that I had nothing to do with. Nice. And now it's been seen nice. by hundreds of people. <laughs> That's amazing. And then later you branched off into hitting your feet for money. That's good. <laughs> yeah. The acting career is going really well. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm curious, Rob, so what else have you like? So what have you done in acting? Or like, I don't know if you, like what type of entertainment I did. I was a professional singer for a long time and I've done some entertainment stuff. Like, have you done anything else in a, in a professional level? Is it just more so like the market? Because most people, like I've noticed a lot of people in marketing and sales are performers in one way or another, like even unintentionally. So what else, what else no, have you done? Massively. I mean, you know, I've, I've, I've sung in bands, I play guitar, you know, done really amateur stage shows. I think, like you say, I think when you're this way inclined for the sales and marketing, you are naturally a performer, whether a good or a bad one, I don't know, but you'd like to, to perform. And that's what it's always been about. I think, I think really deep down is I like to entertain people. Yeah. And, you know, I think that comes out in both my business, the sales and marketing, the writing I do, and the, the singing and dress videos and, and all that jazz, really. You know, have you thought about building a YouTube channel? Because you could literally talk about like Fiverr stories anonymously and stuff. It would be a hoot. 
I want to I want to plug your channel, Rob. Can I feel like you're those? really like underselling yourself. As long, I know. as long as like a lot of people on Fiverr that are doing that kind of work, <laughs> usually those kind of jobs can cost a lot of money. Like five dollars for like those those reviews as advertisements. It doesn't seem like much money. You've got you've got to hike up your prices, Rob. You know what? Here's the thing. You might own a marketing and sales company, but we will manage you, me and Draconis. We will manage it. We will manage your fiber. I'm up for that. I'm up for that. <laughs> I think it's quite lucky that I'm you're all, actually... always up for support from people who know what they're doing. It's Why good that you're actually doing? in marketing because <laughs> if you if you weren't in that field, maybe and you came into a situation like this, you might find it a bit harder to deal with. But because you you like you know how social media works to some extent, I suppose. Maybe not so much like the ins and out of YouTube and our memes, but you know, you know how marketing works, you know how to like promote yourself. So you can take the mm. bad situation that you've been given and turn it into something good with like that knowledge. So you're quite fortunate in that aspect. Well, as they say, you know, there's no such thing as bad publicity, is there? So let's let's get it done. Let's start a whole Julian Says channel. Let's get the website done, T-shirts done. I can't done. believe you didn't take it yet. Somebody's registered the .com uh -huh. domain. It's the first thing I checked. I was like, uh -huh. I know the internet, someone in Andy's chat, if you have not registered, it will have gone and done it already. We need a Julian a Julian says YouTube channel too. We'll have to make we'll have to see if that's we'll have to see if that's taken. Um oh my god, Rob, you were fun. I'm having I don't I forgot that I was even doing an interview. This is I don't care. This is fun. I'm fun with y'all. <laughs> yeah, like, people people in the chat love you. Like they yes, either, like, we love stand you, love you, or they want to pay you for certain things, or they just find you entertaining and they would like to see more from you. So. I'm seeing a lot of take my money, Rob. I'm seeing a lot of those in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I saw take my virginity, Rob, earlier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'm allowed to do that on Fiverr. I'll be honest. I don't think that's the thing. I don't think. You can hurt your toes, um. though. He'll hurt your toes for you. <laughs> I saw someone comment, maybe you should wear a dress, play guitar, and bang your toes with a drum or something. <laughs> yeah, see, when you mentioned that, that, to me, that seemed like a practical advertisement for, like, steel toe caps. Like, that's what I thought it was. And then you said, no, it's just, that's just what It's a private for. client. <laughs> no, it was okay, a, so some it was guy with a, like, BDSM toe fetish. I don't know. I don't know why he... I think it, it used to ask, like really specific questions after the video had been done, you know, sort of like, oh, Rob, when you hurt your toes, do you really do that? Does it really hurt, Rob? <laughs> and obviously, like, the salesman in me is like thinking, well, he's a client, so I need to be polite to him. So, yeah, that's how I do it. Every time I hurt my toe, I jump up and down and scream my poor, poor toe. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. In the back of your head, you're thinking, I was pimping my toes Rob, out, I'll be honest. There's nothing... You were selling your feet. And you didn't <laughs> even realize it. You were like so naive about this job. Maybe and I'm this quite, guy is like, like, tell me how much your toe hurts, from. Maybe, maybe I'm too innocent for this lark, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand. It's one thing to like, you know, you get off on dirty feet or something, which to me, like my thing is like, that can make you sick. Like I, I, that's my, since I'm chronically ill, that's where my mind goes. I'm like, God, what if you, what if you were sucking on a toe and you caught something from that that just fucked your life up? But then they go a step further and they don't really want to get sick from your feet. They want you to hurt your own feet. <laughs> where's like, where's the boner in that? I don't understand. I don't understand where the, I don't, <sighs> Jack Tonis, you and I have to talk later. You got to explain life to me. You have to explain some things to me. I don't get how this all works. You were talking about um, sort of like um, all attention is good attention and like performing and maybe like the sort of shock factor in performance. So I wanted to ask when you were on Andy stream earlier, you were introduced to the, the 1488 thing. And I don't know if you know about this, Joy, but. Um, no, what is, I heard this, what is that? I'm not gonna explain it. Oh, fuck but you. You Googled it, Rob. Did you look into it further? I, no, I. They were commenting about this, yeah, this fourteen, whatever it is, thing. Fourteen eighty. Yeah, and I was like, what is it? The, the the tone in their voices and the way they were saying it kind of made me think, okay, this is something that I they want me to talk about, but I perhaps shouldn't talk about it. So yeah, quickly Google it. I loved it. how you were like, I think I know about it, but tell me, and I was like, I don't think it's what you think it is. A dental company came up. Oh no, it, it, it's not a dental company, and it's not it's something you should read company. out loud unless you want your stream taken. It, back it says it refers to two works written by David Lane while he served an extremely long prison sentence. 
with Robert Matthews? 1488. Yes. I don't understand. Yeah, so that's what I read earlier, but then if you scroll down a little bit more, there's perhaps a little bit more detail that prob probably sort of makes everything make a bit more sense. Learn English with Matt, it says. Okay. Stop showing it because it's going to show something you don't want it to show. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was like, when I've heard this before and I thought it was like, and Rob, I don't know if you know anything about Alex Jones. Like that is my, that is my uh, future husband in my mind because he's so fucking silly. You'd always be entertained. And you know how he starts screaming, 1776 will commence again if you take our firearms. I thought it was a play off of that. Yeah, that was that interview with Piers, uh, Piers Morgan. Did you see that interview, Rob? Yes! Do you know no. who Alex Jones is? No. Oh, oh my God, God, that interview is so good. Oh my God, Rob, okay. You Can have I Google him now? What's his name? A lot of homework to do, honey. He is like the internet's biggest conspiracy theorist. And he did an interview with Pierce Morgan and he started making fun of Pierce Morgan's accent and like going crazy and screaming. Can like, you we're play gonna... that bit on the stream, Joy? Can I? If we can take it. I don't know. It... I don't, will it get like copyrighted if you play I mean, it? It's, I don't fucking care if it does. Okay, hold on, let me, we're gonna, let me tr find it. So you, you, you know Piers Morgan, is that his name? Piers Morgan? Yeah, I know. He's from like Brennan's Got Talent and stuff. He yeah. interviews this Alex Jones guy about <laughs> um, gun control in America and they're, con they're comparing like the statistics between like um, like United Kingdom and America and gun deaths. And uh, this Alex Jones, who I have to admit, like I do believe some of his stuff and I, I do watch his show sometimes before it was nerfed from the website. But um, mm. he just goes, he just goes like off the hook. Like he starts yelling at him, and he like starts mocking his accent, and it's just the best thing ever. Oh, like, no. It would be, it would be cool if Joy could could get it up. Yeah, hold on. I can't Can you know? you haven't seen like any of this internet stuff. No, that's the thing. Like I, I thought, I thought I knew quite a lot of it about the internet, and then there's like this PewDiePie guy who I'd never heard of. This all these YouTubers I never heard of. It's a whole new world. All right, here we go. I found a clip. This is a, this might give you some context. Okay, so we'll we'll have to put the volume on your stream, won't we? Because yeah, I took my headphones off so y'all can hear it. Yeah. So turn it on. While the government buys 1.6 billion bullets, armored vehicles, tanks, helicopters, predator drones, armed now in U.S. skies, being used to arrest people in North Dakota, the Second Amendment isn't there for duck hunting. It's there to protect us from tyrannical government and street thugs. Take the women in India. Your piece earlier on CNN I was watching uh, during Anderson Cooper's show didn't tell you that the women of India have signed giant petitions to get firearms because the police can't and won't protect them. The answer well, is, hey, wait a minute, I have FBI crime statistics that come out a year late, 2011. 20 plus percent crime drop in the last nine years. Real violent crime because more guns means less crime. Britain took the guns 15, 16 years ago. Tripling of your overall violent crime. True, we have a higher gun violence uh, level, but overall mugging, stabbings, deaths. You, those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? That's why you're going to fail, and the establishment knows, no matter how much propaganda, the Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. There you go. It gets better. He goes into, like, making fun of him and doing a crazy British accent, talking about, like, what was it? He's like, how many how many sharks swim on the, the like, the head of a, a, a pin or something? I don't know. I love him. But yeah, Rob, you have, you have a lot of homework to do. I'm, I'm not sleeping tonight. I'm just catching up on YouTube. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> oh God! I, I just keep laughing because it's like you poor thing. You just you have you have no idea what all what all craziness is out there. Oh, he's also talked about like yeah, he gets mad and he screams and rants and he'll scream that like the government, our government's poisoning our water and turning to frogs gay. Turn the freaking frogs gay. Just goes on and on about it. <laughs> and the, and yeah, the that was a really good impression. Oh, thank you. Well, and the crazy part is it's similar to what Draconis said. 
a lot of it's not necessarily untrue. Like a lot of what he says, I mean, some of it's fucking crazy, but some of it, it's like, yeah, they are putting all kinds of crazy hormones and chemicals and heavy metals and shit in the food and water. So it's interesting because you get a bit of truth with a whole lot of crazy theater. I love him. The fact yeah. that his like delivery is so aggressive and like crazy sort of like inval invalidates what he's trying to say a lot of the time. And it makes him a really easy target for you know, the mainstream media to play it down. But they, they recently did remove him from YouTube, uh, Twitter, like Facebook. They just all in 24 hours, they got rid of him on everything, which to me oh, sent wow. quite a strong message that they didn't want people to hear what he had to say. It does, doesn't it? Yes. It almost made it like, it almost legitimized some of the crazy shit he says. And I'm like, well, why are you removing him? But I don't know. I go back and forth. I, I do love him. I, I feel like every time I get in a conversation with somebody, it goes back to conspiracies every time. Just in my life. That. <laughs> so, um, Rob, I'm sorry. I feel like we've taken a fuck ton of your time. I didn't mean to take so much of your time. Um, anything else? Sure, I've wanna... lived it. Oh, good. Anything else you want to say? Dractonus? Like anything you want? You want to say any? Anything? Chat. Do y'all have any more questions or anything? Like anything y'all want to go over? I'm a. Uh, I'm down for. I just realized. I'm like you have been chilling with me for two hours so I, I apologize i know you gotta get on with your life <laughs> honestly no honestly it's been really fun i mean yeah if anyone's got any further questions for me obviously i'm trying to keep an eye on the comments so ask away i guess okay and also I think I'm, oh, sorry. you put his link in the comments as well because i couldn't do it his um fiverr link yeah i, I will and i'll put it in the description too at the very end it's rob spence on fiverr so if you guys want to if you want to look him up, it's Rob Spence. And same thing, and Rob, seriously, and I, I'm going to give you always, you have an open invitation to any of my channels. My other channels is much bigger. It's got like 15,000 subscribers. I'm not able to stream on it right now. But um, in the future, if you need any help or if you want to start a YouTube channel, like I will plug everything. I won't even charge you for it. I won't even have you hurt your feet. I will just do it because I want to. <laughs> because I, we want, what if I want to hurt my feet? Would you use the same YouTube channel that you already have? Because I know people are asking if you have YouTube as well, and you do have the channel with the dress. Yeah. Well, let's, um, let's, let's ignore the channel with the dress for now, I guess. Uh, well, if it's okay, I'll, um, I'll comment with my kind of business YouTube. I do sort of a weekly vlog on there. If people want to watch it, then that'd yeah. be awesome. Okay. Um, um, let me just comment now while I'm thinking about it. And then if you want, just uh, you can uh, DM me the info afterward too, and I'll, I'll put it up places because I'll put this on the other channel and see if we can we can get you some traction and some some money. <laughs> <laughs> I love no, it. I, I think appreciate people, that. People would love to have a YouTube channel from you and you could talk about your Fiverr stories or fun client story, or whatever the fuck you want. I think that would be really good. Like if you, mm -hmm. if you did like weekly stories about, I mean, I don't know how much detail you can go into with like confidentiality, but I, I imagine if you didn't reveal like the names of the businesses or the companies, like you wouldn't be breaking any laws, I guess. Right. Long as nothing's exactly. so, Yeah. It's just a story, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe we should, we need to set that up, maybe. Imagine if that foot guy was watching right now. Oh, my no. <laughs> <laughs> If he I is, could not have been as polite as you. Like, if he kept messaging me, like, after asking me how much it hurt, like, which is, does he want to know, like, on a, a scale of, like, one to ten, how much it hurt at the time? Like, I'm like, why do you want to know this information? Like, how does this pertain to, like, your company? Why do you want this advertisement from me? Well, and then the other thing, too. <laughs> Maybe I am, like, saying too <laughs> Well, like, the other thing, too, is, like, he's wanting to know, is, like, is this how you really react when you stub your toe? It's not like you walk around hurting your feet all the time to, like, measure the experience. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? I don't know. That's weird. All right, y'all, we're going to do, like, a, we're going to do a last call. Last call for any questions. I'm seeing a lot of subscribed, which is good. So, uh, last call for any questions or anything with Rob. You can ask Julian anything for the moment. <laughs> What's the channel? The channel is uh, oh. Paragon Sales Solutions. I'll put it in the chat. Oh, thank you very much. So yeah, so on that, I do a weekly vlog um, about sales, business marketing, just basically me waffling, really. But they're always good fun. They're nice and short and sweet. And maybe I need to do one in a dress. I, my last one, I wore a blindfold. That was different. Okay. Um, I think you should have that channel for like your professional marketing. And I think you should have another channel for your internet memes. Yeah. So where you're doing your stuff maybe. at Andy's channel, you could put that on there. That's promoting him and you 
and if you get in touch yeah. with like other YouTubers, like you spoke to Ralph earlier on that call, like he yeah. runs the kill stream, which is like one of the biggest live streams on YouTube at the moment. It's on like every weekday, like Monday to Friday. It's like a late night show. Like if you did some work for them, you could put that on there. And they're very much like in the crowd of like internet memes and that kind of stuff that may not be appropriate in like mainstream work. So that's why you could like separate them onto two different channels. Massively, yeah. No, well, you know about the, the other whole, channels like, current AIDS thing, like you know, it's not necessarily like <laughs> PC. <laughs> Massively, maybe, maybe we need to relaunch my old sort of YouTube channel and uh, make it a bit more fun. Maybe who knows? You could do them yeah. in a dress as well. Yes, the same dress or a similar dress. Probably. Won't be the I same. mean, I've still got the same wig. I've still got the same wig, so nice. we could whip the wig out. <laughs> <laughs> Some. Somebody asked Rob, how much do you get paid? Oh, how much were you paid for the foot video? For the foot? <laughs> <laughs> no, so, the, so, so for the feet video, I think we arranged a fee, okay, of $15 a video. <laughs> so. And your dignity. Uh, yes. <laughs> and my innocence. So oh very affordable foot videos. I <laughs> Were there any other weird ones, or was that like the creepiest? I I think that was the that I think that one was the creepiest. I had to do had to do one in a in a bed topless before. I had to do that. What and was sort it of for? pretending to was that the penis in like in her <laughs> 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 no, no, I was fully dressed for the pink one, you'll be pleased to hear. Um, I no, get this... advertisements for that all the time, and it's like, oh, I do not, I don't need this product, why am I getting these advertisements? <laughs> you watch next week, you'll see my face. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm kind of expecting that. <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah, I think that was like the weirdest one, really, I think. I think. But then again, I'll, I'll sleep tonight, and I'll, if I think of anything, I'll drop you a message. So, so Rob, I am curious though, when did it occur to you that the foot thing was like, it was more than a, it was more than a, a foot thing? Like when did that, when did that hit you? I was think it... straight, I think straight away, to be honest, because I, th I saw the script and I thought, <laughs> well, I don't understand why he'd want to see this. And I thought maybe he just, maybe he just is a fan of comedy. He thinks that I can do a really good comedy, you know, sketch and he just wants to pay this money to watch me. But then it was like when the repeat order started coming through, and then he was asking me, so, so Rob, like... Yeah, it's supposed to be know, acted. Did it really like, hurt thought, your toe? I thought you had to act like you hurt your toe. I, like, I didn't know he actually, like, genuinely wanted you to hurt your toe. Because then you're not being an actor, then you're just, like, self-harming. Well, no, no, so, so here's the weird thing. He was always really adamant, you know, like, Rob, don't hurt your toes. I don't need to hurt yourself. But obviously, when you're doing it, you do kind of clip yourself sometimes. Like, it's sometimes you do, you know, clip your foot with a... With a hammer or he was whatever, sending you know. mixed messages though because he was saying i don't want you to hurt yourself but then he was asking you how much you hurt yourself in, in like the feedback afterwards yeah massive and then you know he'd say things like so when you do hurt your toe do you dance around like you're doing the videos and like wanting me to really describe it it was very 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 bizarre like i said of all the videos that could have come out about me the one that has come out is perhaps the least damaging I'd say. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> asks Rob, it mentions on Fiverr that you are bilingual. What other languages do you speak? Oh, does it? Okay, interesting. <laughs> um, I'm not I'm not really. Uh, bonjour, ça va? Je m'appelle Rob. Uh, there you go. Je ne No? That's, <laughs> that's French, right? Oui. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of French to get me by. Tiniest yeah, We're bit. forced to do it in like English high schools. They make us do French for like five years. Okay. I had to do German as well as French and Chinese. Oh, really? My school was like mean. They made us do free. It was mean. <laughs> I do. I know a little bit of French because I took it in high school and then I went and lived over there. But I, they can't understand me. Like when I do, I sound like a cowboy. I tried to. What was it? I tried to translate. I tried to translate. Not today, Satan. And they just didn't get it. And I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, my French is horrible. <laughs> I know un petit peu. I know a little bit. <laughs> somebody asked me what i do for a job um i do all kinds of things but the main thing i do is i transcribe like um audio files or like video files so i do captioning for companies or movies and things like that 
So I mostly work from home. Well, oh, also, that, that, like, I do a lot of projects. That benefit me, too. Like, you know, um, so you know how you have, like, Alexa in your home or you have, like, Siri on your iPhone and you ask them questions? And one of the people that gets to listen to you asking those questions... No, you're the CIA! No, no, it's, it's not. No, that's when, like, it's only when it's activated and you're asking the question. I don't transcribe, like, you know, the things you're saying when it's not active. And they say it's to improve, like, the voice like technology, like the recognition technology and the accuracy. So if you get a real human to transcribe what they're actually saying, uh, the AI like learns how to like interpret it better. Okay, but are but, they evil? Like, are they conscious? <laughs> I have so many questions. Alex, have you seen Alex Jones's video where he argues with Alexa? I did. I one point, with yeah. the CIA. It was funny, yeah. I remember, yeah. said, do you work with the CIA? No, but honestly, like the things I've had to transcribe that people have said to Siri, like begging for blowjobs to Siri and things like that. And I have to sit there and type this stuff out. Like I have to say it exactly as they have. Like, it's like, do people not realize that all of this is recorded? So just so people know, when you ask where to bury people and like how to get laid, or if you can have like sexual favors from your phone, there's someone somewhere having to listen to that and transcribe it. Are you I'm telling See, I've never done the Ask Siri. So, well, that's the other thing is that I get, I get mad because it never knows what I'm saying and I just give up. Like, I also hate those, like, when you call places and it has the automated recordings and you have to answer and it never knows what you're saying. But, like, okay, so you're saying that somebody's listening every time. They're not listening actively, no. It's, it's like it's recorded and then in the future, maybe not all of them, but I just get some, like, batches of files at time and I go through the clips and I, I have to transcribe them with certain like tags and stuff to identify like the gender of the speaker, which God, you can't even do that nowadays without being like asked and um, like where they're from, like natively. So um, like you mentioned, you can't really understand people from Scotland well, without the help of Scottish people working on those files. Alexa wouldn't be able to pick up on like Scottish dialects and things like that. So the aim is for them to eventually like improve it. So when you ask it something, it knows what you're saying, no matter where you're from. But I'm sure there's an element of them like listening to you at the same time. Wow. So you are what Alex Jones worried us about. You are 1488 and 1776. That is you. 1488 isn't like a year that's going to commence again. It's it's like a whole thing. It's a thing. I'll tell you. I'll tell. I'll tell you about it after the stream. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm. Just, I'm still looking. Um, it says quantity expressed in decimal system on Cora.com. Migrant children. Yeah, I got nothing. Oh! That's because Google's trying to censor it. Wait, the deeply racist reference in Dylan Roof's apparent manifesto decoded, is that it? I think you're getting warmer. Okay. Well, fuck it. I don't know. All right, well... Shit, Rob, I've wasted enough of your fucking day. I sure have. Well, it's, it's night for you guys. It's, it's. I assume. Yes, it is. It I is. just, I, I mapped hours just now in my head. Uh <laughs> Don't worry, you've not wasted any of my time. I've really enjoyed it. So thank Good. you very much. Good. And Rob, if you ever find yourself needing to come to Oklahoma, fucking don't unless it's family or money related don't <laughs> fucking come here but i me and roommate we call him roommate it's my boyfriend it's kind of long story we'd be happy to take you out show you around same with you draconis you can come hang out with us and uh if i ever come to london i'm showing up with a cockney accent and i'm gonna drop a hammer on my foot at your door because that would be appropriate <laughs> and uh and yeah so anything anything else y'all want to talk about or say or i don't know thank you for having me Yes, and thank you for being here because you you did a lot of the talking, and I think I, you I, you kind of know following me. My throat's been really sore, so I appreciate it. <laughs> I was like, oh yes, she's talking good. Oh, and, someone and someone asked for his Twitter as well. Oh yeah, I do. Have, I think all that stuff will be linked in the. Yeah, yeah. we'll link it to. You. Yeah, yeah. Link. Um, do you want me to do that, or are you guys going to do that? We can take care of that. Or if you want, if there's anything else you want to send, just DM it to me, and I can. I'll put it up everywhere. Oh, mate, that's amazing. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Anytime, anytime. And uh, shit, any any last words, anybody? Thanks, Rami, for, thanks for being cool and not suing me. Yeah. <laughs> not sending you know, me a cease and desist through my letterbox. No, no, no. 
do you know what this this might sound weird but sometimes you know people connect for various reasons and i think you know hopefully like you say maybe in the future we can all get together do another video or kind of meet up in person hang out and and whatnot so no honestly to to you guys thank you so much for having me it's been awesome and to all the viewers as well thank you for listening to me thanks for watching thanks for sticking with us thanks for all the questions just thank you for being awesome really yes and if you guys want to hire him remember he's on fiverr um <laughs> rob spence on fiverr will have links everywhere and be prepared because he is going to be doing an intro for my channel and it's the crazier the better so i don't even care <laughs> what it is just lots of julian says um, lots of we'll put lots of foot shit in there. I don't care. I really don't. But uh, Rob, it was good to have you. If you want to hang out for a second, Rob, what, once the broadcast is over, if you want, you can. If not, no big deal. I'll end the broadcast. Yeah, I'll hang around. Yeah. Perfect. And same with you, Draconis. Uh, you and I have we have tea to talk. <laughs> we have tea mm -hmm. to spill. But uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> thank you guys, and thank you for helping me restart the second channel again. I kind of forgot it existed, so I appreciate y'all. And if anybody misses this, it will be on the main channel. If not today, then tomorrow. So. All right, y'all. Everybody, try to find the joy and the sparkles and all the bullshit in the world. That's that's what my name is, Rob. My name is Joy Sparkle BS because I like to be. I like joyful things and I like sparkles and I like to that's laugh. That's exactly at bullshit. what Rob's had to do this week, isn't it? You just have you do you have to just find the the, the silly shit and just make it work. <laughs> just laugh at it because life is stupid. 1488 and 1776 is everywhere, and me and Rob don't even know what that is. So. <laughs> All right, exactly. guys. Lots of love. We'll see y'all soon. Take care. And Thank uh, you, guys. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, and Draconis, you have a channel. Did you know you exist on YouTube? Because apparently I fucking forgot. I do. And um, Rob was asking, like, how, how long I've been a YouTuber. But, I mean, I'm not really a YouTuber. I just play games and upload them. It's just I uploaded that video the other day because no one else had done it, and it was annoying me. Okay. okay. And, and I'll tell you, honey, I will also, I will do an intro and plug you guys too in the beginning. So, cause I don't, I don't forget about you just so you know, we'll talk about yeah, it later. Yeah, very, very kind. I, you know what? And I fucking better be, I fucking better be. You're so help, oh, so help me God, I guess. I tried to sound threatening to myself. It didn't work. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go. All right. Love y'all. Take care. And we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for hanging out. Bye guys. Bye. Cheers guys. enjoyed again i just want to give a big thank you to Dractonus. please go subscribe to Dractonus. she's the one that found julian very very sweet girl so please go check her out links are in the description i'll have links everywhere as well as please go subscribe uh or check out rob rob spence he is on fiverr he's our, our spokesperson and our actor as well as i know he has insta and twitter so check him out there if you guys want any work or anything done and at some point i'm gonna have him film an intro for this channel because we're gonna have some fun here <laughs> okay guys so I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for listening. Continue to be blessing yourselves and blessing to others and continue to try to find the joy and the sparkles of the bullshit in the world. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Take care. Mwah. Goodbye.